and welcome back. So in this video, Lee, just a very small amount of uh, cleanup or additional code. Well, yep, a little bit. It's like on one that is the obvious one was the problem that we had with the train flickering as you were rotating the camera around. Okay. Where it was um, appearing and disappearing. Mm -hmm. Now, the cause of it, I have absolutely no idea why it does it when we um, switch over to doing the mesh this way. It's It was something that the moment I started implementing multi-threading and broke the the update mesh away from the initial constructor that it started doing it. Now, the fix for this is calling the mesh object dot render dot enable and setting it to true. Don't ask me why. It 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 is true. It's never set to anything but true. But by resetting this to true, it's happy. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Yep. Now, I also, you know, in between videos, we had a little discussion. I understand why you were getting confused with this. And I realized as well, we're never updating our patch load count. Right. So we kind of need to update our patch update count. So let's go ahead and do that. So... If we've updated it, it's return trib. Let's go ahead and take our patch load count and increment that. And then just so we don't do the, the uh, power calculation like you were talking about multiple times, we'll just say if um, initial load, go ahead and... So I can take this and and set and. So if it is in the initial load state, then so because it'll evaluate this condition first. So if this is set to false, it will never get to this condition. Mm -hmm. So if this evaluates the truth, that will be the only time it does the uh, the power calculation. And then once this condition is met and this condition is met, it'll flip the initial load to false, which means it from that point forward, it will only do this part of the code and it'll skip the rest of that. Okay. So that should accomplish um, what you were thinking about, as well as actually getting our patch load count to finally work. So if... Go ahead and jump on over for you. Mm -hmm. oh, hold up. Before you what? run that... Oh, yeah. Oh, you stopped it. That's fine. All Let's right. go back in the uh, code real quick. Okay. While we're thinking about that. Ah. They've seen a nice big world enough. Let's go ahead and shrink that down so we get a little bit faster start times. All right. All right. Now, if you scroll around, <laughs> oh, it's still not doing it. I forgot the other half of it. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's pause that. Okay, hang on. Get my mouse back. Okay, I'm listening. I'm intrigued. Yeah. What do you got? Yeah. Well, I'm sitting here. It's like, going, okay, maybe that was the fix for my computer. <laughs> what? Okay. Now, also during the construction here, let's go ahead and set this here as well. We'll make it false. So we're disabling the renders visibility and then resetting it later on so if i re i'm checking my notes just to make sure if that's indeed what i did there um yeah mesh render is enabled to set the false here so that should work there Go ahead and build that. And let's see if now it's happy. So in other words, we're turning off the render and turning it back on to try to clear that anomaly. Hey, it fixed it. Yeah. Now explain that to me. That it just doesn't make any sense. It's like going, oh, it works great. Oh, you split that up. Well, now you got to turn the render off and turn it back on. So I'm going to go ahead and do this again. Okay. Just to see if... Well, how far along are you in scheduling now? Well, 
it should be set up so when you run, you are loading in one at a time. The the deletion or the destruction of the train patches are right. set all out. Right. Let's see if it. And it will probably it will create all the meshes at once, but it won't draw them all in at once. Mm -hmm. Let me adjust the way I'm running. A little bit over this way. Well, I definitely did not freeze for no several seconds. Right. Well, that's also a combination of the fact I, that we've got much less patches. But yep. Uh, yeah, that's very true too. Okay. Well, we we are still building stuff, and I'm seeing it come in more in individual chunks. And for those of you that are listening, as you know, we um, are treating these videos uh, very very different than um, yeah, watching them one second at a time coming in. We we treat these videos different than the regular VTMs that we do at 3D Buzz, where it's not just R and D type videos. And I'm only only throwing that out because if you hear any weird alien sounds in the background, it is the fox uh, doing a a mating call. Um, funny enough, so I thought that I I would share that with you guys. So, anyways, let's go ahead and get my mouse back. Yeah, yeah, which which is a good thing to bring up because it is five here my time, which means my dog will be waking up at some point. Oh, that's very true. All right, so, so is that pretty much it for this video, Lee, or did you was there more you wanted to? No, I think that's a good uh, part for this one that fixes that problem and it sorts out what um, it, or it kind of optimizes the uh, patch load count All right. problem. All right, not well, so much problem, but that part of the code. Oh, with so. that, that will wrap up this video. Thanks a lot.